In this video, we're going to take a look at addition and subtraction of complex numbers. Now, for addition and subtraction of complex numbers, nice and easy, all we do is we split the real parts up for the complex numbers and then split the imaginary parts up and we add them separately. So what we mean by that, if we take a look at this first example here, is we add the real parts together separately. So 3 plus the 2, so that gives me 5. And then 2i plus minus i, that would just simply give me i. Okay, and that gives us our new complex number there. Okay, so like you can see, all we do is we split the real parts up, add those or subtract those separately, do the same for the imaginary part. So we'll take a look now at the second example here. Again, just doing what we did for the first one, but this time we're subtracting. So 2 minus minus 3, so just be careful with your signs here. So 2 minus minus 3, that would give me 5. And then 6i minus positive i, well, that's just the same as 6i um, minus i, that would give me 5i. So that's the solution to the second example. And then for this third one here, looks a little bit more complicated. We've got fractions, but there's nothing too crazy going on. We're just adding fractions. So a half here plus 3 over 2. So because they've got a common denominator, that would just give me 4 over 2, which we can simplify to give us 2. And then 3 over 4i plus 1 over 4i, that would give me 4 over 4i, which is just simply i. So we get 2 plus i there. Okay. So like you can see, nice and easy. So that's three examples we've worked through together. Now there's three practice questions for you to have a go at. So like always, pause the video now, have a quick go, and then we'll take a look at what you should have got. So hopefully you managed to okay with these. Let's take a look at what you should have got now. So for this first one here, again, just splitting this up into real parts, adding those or subtracting those separately. So 1 minus 4, that gives me minus 3. And then 2i minus minus i. So again, just being careful with your signs here, that will give me plus 3i. Okay. For the next one, again, splitting this up into real and imaginary parts, minus 4, minus minus 5. So again, just being careful, that would give me 1. And then 2i minus 10i, that would give me minus ai there. Okay. And then for the final one here, again, looks a little bit more complicated. We've got thirds now, but nothing too bad. I've got 2 root 5 plus root 5. So this is for the real part. That would give me 3 root 5. And then we've got i plus 3i. So i plus 3i, that would give us 4i there. And there we have it. So those are the solutions we should have got for these three practice questions. And that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at multiplying complex numbers.